Valador is Wicker Park's newest cocktail lounge, paying homage to both Japanese and Mexican cultures. Yeah, joining us now with a look at its cocktail menu is bartender Anthony Urbina. Thank you for coming in. A Mexican yeah. Japanese cocktail bar. Yes. That's a, 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 a connection that most people don't make, but it's very prominent in Mexico. Explain that for yeah, everybody. Yeah, so we just uh, paying homage to the uh, Japanese immigrants that immigrated to Mexico after the World War II. And, uh, they created this like nice uh, community, a little Tokyo in Mexico. So we're just combining both, both cultures, ingredients from both, and we have some similarities as well. Um, like rice is yeah. used in both. Yeah. Um, like for example, horchata and sake. So we have cocktails too that have both of those ingredients in the. Oh, that's a combination yeah. for okay. you, right? And these two drinks are going to make us have a little bit of both worlds in them too, correct? Yes, as well. Yeah. Especially okay. What are we starting with? Yeah. So we're starting with the mizu fresca. Pretty much, it's like a cucumber margarita. What is it again? Mizu fresca. Mizu means uh, water in Japanese. Fresca is fresh. Okay. So, so fresh, fresh water. Fresh water. Both, okay. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. A very refreshing margarita, pretty much. Uh, to, to start off with it, just um, we do two ounces of our soto. Okay, and soto? explain what that is. Yeah, yeah. so soto is pretty much a uh, sister of mezcal. It's not made from agave. So it's going to have like the smokiness that mezcal usually has, but a little bit more earthiness to it as well. Okay. okay. We do two ounces of those, half okay. ounce of yuzu, which is a citrus as well, mm -hmm. it's found in Japan. Mm -hmm. We have an agave syrup oh, native yeah. to Mexico, half ounce of that. Okay. I like all the fresh homemade ones too. Yeah, half ounce of cucumber juice. Okay, that's definitely that's where the refresher be fresh. comes out from. That's gonna make it do, really earthy. Yes. yes. And then we have a quarter ounce of a chiro, which is a, it's an aloe vera liqueur. Aloe vera uh, liqueur. But it has a, liqueur. It has a nice, nice hint of cucumber as well, so it just complements cucumber. Is that high in APV? The cocktail itself or the chiro? No, it's a little, it's a liqueur, so it's not too, too high. Okay. But I mean, if you drink half the bottle, uh, it'll, it'll yeah, do something to you. Uh-huh, yeah. uh -huh, yeah, on so your rear just add our ice to it. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Do you rim the glass at all? No, we don't. Just okay. Just put some ice in there and shake. Don't shake it. So you equated it kind of like to a keep me shake, yeah, uh, like a margarita. Yeah, like pretty much a cucumber margarita. Really, really refreshing. Easy to drink. Okay. This right now, super easy. Okay. Dangerous. You can have, you we can, call yeah, that it's dangerous. dangerous. You can have like. <laughs> Four or five of these, and you won't even know you're Oh, I didn't even know it. Yeah, yep. okay. Did you travel down to uh, Little Tokyo? No, I haven't, some... actually. I want oh, to. My okay. family is from Mexico, so okay. I would love to go there one day, but I've never gone to Little Tokyo. Okay. So you, are you helping come up with these drinks, too? I Actually, this is my drink. Oh, um, it is? Yeah. Okay, good. So it's my cocktail, the best one on the menu. But <laughs> yeah. I love how you garnish it with a, a little... Um, Fresh cucumber. cucumber. Yeah, mm -hmm. slice a nice little slice of cucumber on there. This right. one is actually on our happy hour menu too. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, you do have yeah. a very, very nice So we do nice have a happy hour, hour menu. Um, we do that on <laughs> Sunday. That was fresh. Okay. We do it from uh, Sunday to Thursday, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. We have uh, our cocktails, $10 cocktails. That's one of them that's on there. We have uh, $6 tapas. We have food on the menu too. It's all like very small, oh, very shareable. I, I, um, I it's meant that. to be eaten like one or two bites. So yeah. we have food on there as well. And then we also have our some of our house sake and then beer and wine is also on the happy hour Ooh, menu. That's fun. Sunday to Thursday. I like this because seven. the smokiness is not like that's well, not too I much. Yeah, I think yeah. it's the agave helps you know like settle it down a little bit, mm -hmm. and the cucumber mm -hmm. as well. But yeah, that's the. I'm looking fresco. forward to this other yeah. one. This yeah. is the lychee uh, martini. Love lychee. Okay, this like is as the, in lychee. This is ready, fruit? but look, it just matches her. It looks like okay. Lychee. So you know, I got to hold it. Yeah, looks good in your hand. That's really pretty. So what gives it the pink color? Uh, so we actually put some red tincture in it. It's pretty much like a red food coloring dye. Okay. It already comes like a little pink, but not really too much. I say be careful with this because I actually stained my I'm hands sure. a little earlier. So be careful. This is just for the color. You don't okay. have to. The taste will still be the same. Okay. Oh yeah, for this one is a vodka and sake cocktail. It's oh, a, wow. We love lychee. It's a lychee martini. Mm -hmm. um, it's. I'll say it's more on the floral and crisp and dry uh -huh. side. It's not mm -hmm. gonna be too sweet. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do an ounce. Of our vodka. Oh yeah, that's the organic vodka. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen that one a time oh, yeah. or two. And what's this? This is a cute little bottle. It's a sake. So oh, that's a, okay, a dry sake. Yeah, okay. dry sake. Uh -huh. You can go with something a little not as dry, uh -huh. but I mean, I lychee like a mar lychee martini tends to be looked at if it's going to be like really really sweet. Right. Yeah. We went with a like more floral and sweeter. Oh. Not sweeter, drier approach. Let me do an. This is our lychee puree, a fresh oh, lychee puree. I love lychee fruit. Yeah, me oh, too. Oh, that is delicious. So then, like I said, it's gonna be a little floral, so this is where we get that floralness. It's that other flower liqueur. So we okay. do a half ounce of that. 
Oh, and that's a liqueur too, okay. Yeah, so other flower liqueur, and then we also have a leachy liqueur that goes uh -huh. in there too. Mm. Fancy. Mm-hmm. Then we do a little bit of lime juice, fresh squeezed lime juice. We do a teaspoon of it. Hey, that's gonna cut a little yeah. of the sugar too there. And also, um, as you're mixing this up here, oh, go ahead. You're gonna put a little of the little yeah, red. Yeah, so I would say this does not, you don't need to, yeah, but it's just for coloring. You can put a little drop. Okay. There you go. Seems like I felt like you should go poop yeah. right, right, or something so like I, that. I'm, I'm a little traumatized. I got some on my hands earlier today. <laughs> Took me forever to get out. Okay. Got our ice. Cookie, cookie icing. And also, as you're shaking that up, you talked about you have some warm sake over there that you can actually infuse with tea. Yeah. So we actually have uh, the tea ceremony, which is what it's oh, called. I love so it's that. like a, a classic, like a, a Japanese tea ceremony. Mm -hmm. But they use water instead of using water. We're using some sake. Mm -hmm. you know, spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gotta be fun. Yeah, fun. Well, these are pretty. I like. What this. kind of teas do you guys have when you? Um, make the uh, service there. Just different kinds of berries. Excuse me? Teas, what kind of teas? Oh yeah, so we have uh, different teas as well. Uh, my personal favorite is a lapsing tea. Okay. It's like a smoked black tea. Mm -hmm. We have an almadine. Uh, we also have like a chamomile. There's a lavender tea oh. as well. So there's different teas to choose from. Um, and they're all served with like, uh, we do like honey in different ways. So it's like honey pearls, honey flakes. Oh, I love that. And honey powder. And then it's also served with a little bit of Malden sauce. So you get to choose how you want your tea. Do you want it to be a little sweeter or if you want to add oh, something else to it? That's fun. Huh. Right, do you actually sit down on the floor when you're doing this tea service? No, no, no. no. We, uh, <laughs> it feels like our tables are really low. It's then very we're not like, nice and intimate. Again, let's but... be honest. <laughs> All right. And, and then, then we garnish it with a little bit of cotton candy. Okay. Beautiful. That this is, is optional awesome. as well, but if you want to, it adds a little sweetness. Like I said, it's more dry uh -huh. than anything. Perfect. All right, Anthony, this is awesome. This is Valley so Door is over on Milwaukee Avenue. Check them out. They'll be open in about a month. No, for, we are open already. You're, you're, you're open, open yeah, but you've been open yeah. for almost a month. Yes, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Check this out. Isn't good? Yeah, this looks great. Thank you so much. Well, cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, to the cheers. pink. Oh, you know, we love the pink. We love the pink.